the planning committee the amount of what we could, would call target rate housing, so basically council rate housing, was diminished to the stage where it was virtually non-existent. Of those new homes, the vast majority of them, uh, of them were not deemed affordable. And this is critical for anybody involved in the housing fight. Affordable is the new word for not affordable. Affordable means 80% of market rate. 80% of market rate in Elephant and Castle essentially means you can't afford it. So how many families came back in Suddock? Eight families came back of, of the entire Haygate estate. Eight families. How many of those properties ended up being purchased by numbered companies? Uh, companies? Between 12 and 20% were purchased by numbered companies, e.g. investment properties. What is coming to Tottenham, unless it's opposed, will be on a scale that we've never seen in the UK. The first up to, to go is Northumberland Park Estate. In Northumberland Park Estate, there are over 1,400 homes that are slated to be dem uh, demolished. They're slated to go. We have residents from Northumberland Park who will speak to you today about their own experience and about their lack of consultation. Harringay Council, if you listen to them, will say, we engaged with the community. We sat down with the community. We asked the community what they wanted. And naturally, people said, we want better homes. We want gardens. We want safe lighting. We want places for our kids to play. We don't want to be in a situation where maintenance is not carried out. We want safety. We want security. We want comfort. And we want tenure. That's what people said in the surveys, but let me tell you a little bit more. The surveys were done. How were they done? They were done in part through council fun days. We'll give your kids balloons. We'll paint your face. Paint your kids' faces so you can have a great time. Meanwhile, fill out this form. Would you like better housing? Yes, I would. Would you like a garden? Yes. What improvements would you like? I want somewhere safe for my kids to play. I want it to be safe to walk home. How was that interpreted? It was interpreted as demolition. Not one of the forms that were handed out said, do you want demolition? That was never asked. People were never asked that question. When we went in to present at Harringay Council, Sam Leggett, who's here, who's a resident of Northumberland Park, went in with me to present. We presented at uh, the scrutiny committee and at the council. Because of the protest, we were escorted in by a phalanx of security officers. Sam Leggett, I don't want to speak for Sam, but Sam wouldn't hurt a fly, and he's a pensioner. But we were flanked as we went in. Sam, I don't know whether she's going to speak today. Sam was asked, Tell us how much consultation there was. And we had a time allocation of five minutes. She said it'll take me about three seconds. None. And that's where she ended it. And that's part of our fight. Part of our fight is not, as the council depict us, that there is no need for improvement in social housing in Tottenham. There is. There is a need for social improvements to social housing across Harringay, across London. But people need to be involved. People need to be given a voice. We demand that people are not treated with contempt and are engaged with and asked. And when they say they want better gardens, when they say they want better lighting, they do not mean demolish us and move us out. We have seen this pattern time after time after time across London. And in Tottenham and in Harringay, we've said enough is enough. We have crowdfunded £25,000 to challenge Harringay in court. We will be in the Royal Courts of Justice, the High Court, on October 25th and 26th. And what we're saying is five or six key things. First thing, consultation doesn't mean balloons and painting kids' faces and patronizing people. It actually means engagement. Second, equality impact assessment. Those of you who live in Harringay will know we're blessed with one of the most diverse boroughs in London.
in Europe, in the world. <laughs> we're blessed with an incredibly diverse uh, community. But we know the net impact of the attack on social housing is going to fall hardest. It's going to fall hardest on black and ethnic minority communities. We know that. The council's own documentation says that. But what it suggests is the solution is higher pay for black and ethnic minority members of the community. It does not say a word about housing. It complete, and in effect, if you think through what that means, it means blaming people for their own lack of housing once their homes are knocked down. It's in effect blaming people. And so what we've said is we want a full consultation, we want a proper consultation, Second, we want guarantees of a right to return. The council says there's a right to return. lend leases own documents contest that in the same cabinet submission. They're there, you can read them. They're available online. None of this is being hidden, apart from the creation of a shadow board, which was hidden with lend lease. A shadow board was created with lend lease. Before a contract has been signed, a shadow board was put in place to actually manage relations with lend -lease and to manage relations with us. Because frankly, we're being a pain in the arse and we don't intend to stop. I would ask you to come out and support us on the 25th and 26th. We are so close to actually winning. Councillors are up for selection in the coming months. Across Hornsey and Wood Green, the chairs and branch secretaries of those branches that supported HDV have been turfed out. They are, they are gone. Across Tottenham, there is one golden rule. Support HDV and you're guaranteed not to be elected. So when you come to vote, when you come to campaign, ask them, where do you stand on the privatisation of housing? If they're in favour, vote them down. Vote them down, kick them out. We want rid of them, and we want a proper process that engages the community, that actually sits down, and we want proper regeneration. Where can this money come from? People ask. You guys are so naive. Where's the money going to come from? Oh, left-wingers dreaming away. Let me tell you. Haringey Council have the world's most expensive chicken shop. £340,000. £40,000 of it invested just about nine days ago, in addition to £300,000. Uh, uh, £28 million spent on renovations and heritage improvements close to Tottenham Hotspur. Now that's strange. Usually when somebody builds a football ground, they contribute to you. In Harringay, we do it differently. We contribute to them. Next. Take the money from the relocation of the Northumberland Park School, £18 million, pounds, to relocate Northumberland Park School. Why? Because it's going to be turned into academy. Why? Because it's going to be shifted. Why? Because it's next to the Tottenham Hotspur ground. Why? Because Tottenham Hotspur intend to build condominiums, they intend to build posh lofts, and a hotel to pay some of the costs towards the new ground. We're paying for this. Our youth services are being cut. Our youth services have gone after cut, after cut, after cut. Harringay Council donate, donated over £600,000 to Tottenham Hotspur's charity. Whilst the kids who live on Northumberland Park had their services cut. This is unacceptable. It's totally unacceptable. There is a deficit of democracy within Harringay. And this has gone on for too long. And what we're saying is no. We're not saying no improvement. We are saying stop this process. Stop the HDV. We are in favour of housing renewal. We are, we are in favour of people taking control of their own lives. And we ask you to stand with us when we go to court. We ask you to march with us. We are one part of a broader fight. We are going to be here hearing in a minute from people from Grenfell, from Siddock, people from Northumberland Park Estate. This fight is about all of us. It's across London. The lessons of Grenfell were that contempt doesn't just show itself in demolition. Contempt shows itself in negligence. And it's time people across London started fighting back on housing. 
This is the most divisive issue that we've got, and it's critical to people's livelihood. So I welcome you for being here. I look forward to being able to march with you, and thank you for being here.